Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to Morrison's Minutes. And tonight, um, I want to run you through a uh, trial run, if anything, through the Political Machine 2024. For those of you that have played and are familiar with previous Political Machine games, um, this is the obviously the new one for this year, previously 2016, 2020. And this is the early um, release of 2024. The main release is due to hit the slate around May, mid-May, they believe. So this is an opportunity um, for review, feedback, fine-tuning, refining. Um, and it's actually the first full um, political machine game that I'm going to be playing. So pretty excited um, to be tuning in from, from um, the US or... <laughs> Well, pretty much from the US, then you'll be saying, what's this Aussie guy talking about our uh, our poli political games, I guess. Um, I'm here to talk about everything, and, and look, this is the first episode of Morrison's Minutes. Um, I plan to do a lot of talking and showing and discussing about a range of topics. This isn't just a game review channel, this is uh, an open channel, and um, look, call this a test run if you like. Um, so please be kind, but yeah, look, this is something I've wanted to get into for a while. Um, I've got lots of thoughts and opinions and, and just like the rest of us in life. And, and I thought, look, why not start it off by, um, doing a review of something fun, right? And I've loved games ever since I was, was young. So, uh, look, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Here's a review of the political machine 2024. I think there's nothing else to do but get into it um, and see if we can have a bit of fun. I've played around with it for a few hours yesterday. Uh, it's definitely fun. Um, if you like politics and if you don't like politics, well, you probably already uh, flicked off me and moved to someone else. But that's, um, that's, that's fine. I've got no problem with that at all. So let's kick it off. And here we go, Mr. Bobbleheads and Mrs. Bobbleheads. So should be uh, should be a bit of fun for everyone. So here we go, Political Machine 2024. Hope you enjoy it. Look, we're not going to go too in depth. Like I said, this is the early release. The, the correct release is due from mid May, I think, 20th or 21st of May, um, 2024. But it's probably perfect because I do believe um, our friends in South Carolina had a primary today. So uh, cheers. Um, to all our American friends that may tune in at some stage. Um, and please know I don't have any political leanings. I love politics. Um, just to show what the bit of a nerd in me, I actually take a day off when it's the US um, election day. I just love it. But uh, I'm not that much of a, of, a, of a geek as some people have called me. I, I love all things in the world and politics is one. And excuse me while I have a quick sip of my, uh, my whiskey which uh, hopefully over the next few months you'll get to uh, learn a bit more about whiskey as well and hopefully I can hear some tips and tricks on what drinks you like to uh, partake in. Anyway, enough about me and enough about who's this random guy talking crap. Um, Political Machine 2024. So you can choose at the moment um, between the primaries and the presidential runoff. Um, look, I, I, I'm a bit of an old school gamer. Um, yeah, you can jump into the presidential race. You could find some cheats in the early beta phase and, and all that. But I, I don't play games like that. I start at the bottom, work my way up. Um, I think one of the best examples of that was in FIFA 2016 um, when I took Luton Town. No, I'm not riding the coattails, but I took Luton Town from um, the bottom tier of English football into Premier League. Didn't win it, but I took them to the top and... Yeah, I'm going back nearly 10 years now, so obviously that's one of my biggest claim to fames that I've got. Um, so, look, bottom line, we're going to run through and we're going to start with the primaries. Like I said, I'm not going to go in depth in this review, right, because it's um, it's an early release. I need to get used to it, play around with it, but I thought, look, let's have a run through. We'll try and keep it under an hour if I can. 
just to give you an idea of what the game is you'll either like it if you've never heard of it before or you or you won't um, if you've played these in depth then it might give you a bit of a a quick overview of what it looks like any changes from 2016 and 2020 um, might keep you wanting to understand it a bit more as well prior to release so we get to choose our party here um, I will go Republican and your difficulty will just stick to normal um, look I haven't used the mighty DT love him I hate him you know about him um, but you get a lot of candidates in 2024 um, you get a lot and that's obviously because they're not the incumbents right so you get uh, Chris Christie and Mike Pence Nikki Haley You'll see who's this bloke here, and that's me. I created myself yesterday. It's pretty cool because you can create your own player politician, but I won't use myself um, for this example because I was mucking around with the settings and I uh, well, I found that the bias, I've set the bias up way too strong. So it's I've got a lot of power and it's just not fun as I said before. So look, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick DT. Um, over on the right hand side it shows you a lot about the candidates stamina charisma intelligence media bias experience and funds what is important in this game is stamina you'll you will get into that a bit more after that's how many how much you can do per turn uh, charisma yeah it matters but not as much in the game i don't feel because you can overcome that um, and funds are important because you need the funds to do the stuff in the game so i'm gonna i'm gonna go with donald trump and we'll try and take him to the um we'll try and take him to the white house if we can or at least run for the white house and um we'll see what happens so let's go uh, should we go back because he disappeared all right let's go next okay so you're going to choose your opponent let's go against pensy Nikki Haley, and who else could we pick here? Ron DeSantis, I guess. Let's give Ron a shot. Let's start it off. All right, welcome to the Political Machine 2024. Um, here's the starting map, obviously. Um, that's pretty straightforward, Jace, everyone's saying. You've got your runners up the top. You've got your calendar dates, 28 weeks, um, which leads into the caucuses. And you've got some key dates. So Iowa, uh, Nevada, New Hampshire, Michigan, South Carolina, my apologies, Michigan, Super Tuesday, and the presidential primaries. So here I am, DT, start with $4 million in funds. Thank you very much. Um, in purple is political capital. So basically you'll get points for every turn. And as you accumulate political capital, you will be given cards. So each turn you'll get a, um, a capital card. If you like, I can hold a maximum of five at any one turn or any one time. Um, and they all do different things. So once you've got four um, political capital points you could use a maverick reformer so it removes opponents cards in the target state and look uh, you'll probably be aware of from the 2020 version but uh, effectively we'll run through it as we get more at the moment we don't start with any stamina is pretty important right so uh, if you start with donald trump you start with major stamina um i played around with um, joe biden last night you start with with less stamina so stamina accounts for what you can do per turn um, before you use it all and then you have to end your turn if i've made sense there so look let's kick it off um we've got 28 weeks to try and become the republican presidential nominee so if we scroll in here we can see nikki haley out in uh, nevada here i am in florida we've got um, south carolina popping up there for Ron DeSantis, and then we've got uh, mikey pence up in new hampshire um so what you can do, you probably say, what's these? These here are campaign headquarters. So each candidate starts with a campaign headquarters. I'm based in Florida. My ha campaign headquarters is in Florida. You can upgrade them, but it brings you in extra funds, extra enthusiasm, extra benefits by having the campaign headquarters. 
it does cost stamina to build it costs money to build of course um, but you start with one in the home state that you represent which now Donald Trump is a resident of Florida by the sounds of it um, after previously being in New York for for many many moons so let's start so I'm starting in Florida what's coming up we know some important stuff's coming up Iowa is coming up and Nevada when the few games I played so far I've never won Iowa um, we've won Nevada but never Iowa and I really want to get a good start because once you fall behind you're just in a world of hurt um, so I think what I'm going to do is head across to Iowa so you can fly in your jet plane to Iowa um, you can see as you're scrolling over the states there's the information so if we look at Iowa here on the right hand side 40 votes it shows your polling percentage your enthusiasm percentage population the wealth so the wealth is um, relative to um, the population and what funds you can raise you can fundraise in this game because four million isn't going to get me through the uh, the candidacy run and then it shows the split between the parties as well if you double click the state a lot of information here not going to run through it all but basically left to right you've got the top state issues showing by democrat independent or republican if it's green um, it's important to them if it's red it's not so important to them. so in this example agriculture support is um, we're focused on republicans tonight it's it's pretty important to them in iowa uh, if you look at renewables not so much top scoring issues shows where um, you get the most bang for your buck if you talk about tax cuts if you talk about inflation favorable trade you'll get your biggest bang for your buck by talking about them in the state and we'll get to that shortly because you can um, basically hold a hold a rally um, or you can invest in um, ad advertising TV advertising for or against so for yourself or Donald Trump in this case or against your competitors and then you've got your state details on the right hand side so first thing I'm going to do in Iowa you come down to here you get your options you've got some options here um, this is where you build so this is your construction tab this is effect effectively your rally tab this is where you can uh, fundraise and this is TV political ads so we're going to build um, a headquarters so you don't have to build a headquarters as you're saying I had one in Florida you don't have to build headquarters you can have one but by building headquarters you get a lot of bonuses in this case building a campaign HQ it's going to give me extra 10 grand per turn it's going to add 1% per turn in the state and then you can upgrade through rego centers think tanks uh, networking lounges consulting lounges so look we're going to keep it simple we're going to build a headquarter in uh, Iowa we're going to uh, vote a red center help the voters vote so we'll upgrade that so straight away it's cost me five hundred thousand dollars but you'll notice it took a lot of stamina away so by flying from Florida to Iowa and building the campaign headquarters which is here it did take majority of my stamina away but um, I think we're going to need to be doing this in quite a few states we want to win uh, it's probably going to give you a bit of a boost um, in, maybe not in the direct polls but definitely in voter turnout which we'll uh, discuss in a bit more detail and if we look at Iowa now uh, Ron DeSantis is leading polling's low at the moment 10% Nikki Haley 9% um, Donald Trump equal uh, third if you like with 9% and the enthusiasm is really low but as you visit the states more as you um, give more talks invest in more ads invest in building um, in that state you'll get a boost in the polls a boost in enthusiasm and even by visiting a state just flying into a state will give you some sort of boost some of the time so anyway we've um, we've built our campaign headquarters in Iowa there's not a lot more we can do now we've got four stamina points you could fly to four states right it's one stamina point per state and as I said if you land in Missouri where I'm running at 10% you might get a bit of an, another jump in enthusiasm um, but I really would like to uh, win the nomination out of the seven games I've played so far so I know Nevada's next um, 
as I said up here you can go Iowa, Nevada, it's going to tell you what's coming up. So I'm going to fly to Nevada. Let's have a look and see what our polling is. All right, we're equal with Ron DeSantis. We're all pretty even there. 10, 10, 10, 9. Um, unfortunately, I can't build anything. I've, I don't have enough stamina points. I, I've got no um, political capital, so I can't use my cards, but I can fundraise. So let's see what the good people in Nevada are willing to give Donald Trump in a fundraising run. All right, I've got three and a half million. What are they going to give me? $103,000. No problems, I'll take it. Thank you very much indeed. We appreciate your generosity and the people of Nevada. So as you can see now, I'm out of stamina. Um, there is nothing left you can do. Um, you must go through the next turn, but obviously there's lots of research you can do, right? You can jump into the Zag polls, the Zagby polls. So this shows the current polling um, of the issues and gives you a rundown of the of the percentage per um, participant. And look, it's the first turn. The biggest one that stands out there is uh, Nikki Haley, climate change. She's leading. And Rhonda Santos with 37 on abortion. Um, like we said, we haven't campaigned yet. We haven't gone around to enough states. Um, the other thing you can do is change the, the map views. So we're currently looking at state polling. Everything's grey. So when you'll see this as we move forward, um, as you are more likely to win a state or a state swinging towards a certain candidate, it will change or colour code change to the respective candidate's colour. You can also choose to look at state enthusiasm as you can see, um, uh, the biggest enthusiasm is Florida at the moment. You know, previous uh, president having another run. Um, Ron DeSantis is there, so the, the enthusiasm's up. You can select to look at the largest um, state votes. So who provides the most delegates? Well, um, for most Americans, they know, but some... Aussies or other people, they won't understand it. It's not like Australia where we um, we have a vote and the party that wins the most seats effectively, um, which we also say is the most popular, will win the vote. In America, it's different. Um, it, it's, it's all about delegates. So California, Texas, um, Florida, and I think there's New York up there with, with Michigan as well. So just color codes. And then you can also go by state wealth, very similar. Um, the states that have the most opportunity to fundraise but just for now i'm going to go back to this this helps me um no i'm not colorblind i just like it simple um so if a state's flipping my way i want to know if it's not i want to know so as i said that's the end of the turn let's flick through here this will be end of week one now it's reset so i've got my stamina back and you'll see other opponents zigzagging around the country shortly as they are there so let's start looking at what we want to do what do we want to do here well we definitely want to um, have a crack at Iowa there's no doubt about it they're all going there I'm last in the poll so I'm going to fly to Iowa, Iowa and I'm going to have a um, speech so again without going into too much detail you've got numerous speech subject topics I really like this because it's quite up to date um, and there's more to come according to the developers. So, you know, Medicare, Medicaid is always an issue, religion, etc. Inflation, well, whether you're here in Australia, in America, or in bloody Sudan, if you're listening to me, it's it's an issue, right? Inflation's bad. Um, eligibility around, around Trump after what happened in the States after the election. Um, so there's some really good speech subjects. This gives you the running points of each candidate so it's showing at the moment based on trade mike pence has talked more about it the people are leaning towards mike pence it is um supporting favorable trade and then here it shows you the effects the good thing i like is you can either uh, have a speech about trade for donald trump and i can support it and give that speech and it's good however if you're finding oh mikey pence you're running ahead you can have a speech about favorable trade, select your target candidate, and you can oppose what they're saying. So you can effectively say, no, Mike Pence is full of crap. He doesn't care about favorable trade. But I want to start this on the right note. So we're going to support it. I want to talk to the people of Iowa. It's going to cost me four stamina. I'm going to give this speech. 
and that's it. You give them the speech, it's deducted your four stamina. Let's have a look at the polls, haven't changed a lot. Bit more enthusiasm for me, um, but it's early days. So, where do we want to go next? Definitely need to give New Hampshire a run. I mean, they're the third caucus state. I even think I'm going to build a, a campaign headquarters there, to be honest. I, I didn't, I haven't before, but I'm going to. So, I've just built a campaign headquarters there, as you can see. Apologies for my lack of keyboard skills. Um, the movement I've noticed is quite slow around the map. I think they've got to speed that up. You don't have the opportunity at the moment, of course, being an early development phase to, um, or pre-release, I should say, to, to change that. It's very, very slow. Um, so I've built uh, something there, but look, I, I can't do much else, right? But what I can do while I'm there, now there's options. I've got, I've got a few stamina points left. I could fly around to these states. So as I said, if you fly to Maine, it's going to cost you one. You fly to Vermont, it's going to cost you one. Um, I'm actually going to fundraise. So I'm just going to see what the good people of New Hampshire will give the DT, 80,000. Not too happy with him by the looks of it. Um, not that interested in giving a billionaire more cash. So that is the end of the turn. Um, I actually do have political capital and I can use a card generates one political capital the start of every turn from a target state so considering caucus will start over here we'll put the card in there and that means I'm going to gain from that card potentially um, I've got a lobbyist I'll generate an extra political capital point here for every turn which is important now with these cards you can only hold five but if you don't want this one if you're not interested you can just right click and you can get rid of it i mean go right click but for now i'll keep it all right let's go to the next week we're in week three of 28 still early days nothing's changed color um i definitely want to get across to michigan um, and i'm going to build in michigan and for those that are wondering why so soon, um, it's just a personal interest. I've spent time in America and I love Michigan. So we'll build a uh, we'll build something there. And we've got our headquarters done. We're going to go, oh, well, I haven't been to Nevada yet and I'm losing in the polls. Let's go across to Nevada. I'm not going to be able to build anything, but I am going to fundraise. What can you give me? They're not giving Trump too much cash tonight well, at the moment, but I'm not really doing much to deserve it either. So that's fair enough. Okay, let me finish doing what they're doing. We'll check our stats and see where we're at soon, but let's just get through to week four. start seeing still nothing's turned which is good we we'll build a headquarters out in Nevada go to Reg Center to help them and there we go and you know what I think I'm gonna shoot down to Texas quickly because whilst Texas isn't on the voting cards yet it's gonna be imperative I win this right I might be Aussie but I understand that we're to have a shot i need texas california florida michigan new york um gonna need some of those big ones which isn't typically republican obviously in the scheme of things some of the states but it's going to be important i do it um i can't do much in texas but i'm going to just get ahead i think i'm going to need to so i'm going to pick something to talk about natural gas and oil is important to the people of texas i'm going to give a speech and there we go we're all happy all right so that's the end of that turn i do have four political capital points now what can i do set a trap in a target state when an opponent visits they lose their stamina so that might be a good opportunity to target iowa Increase opponent enthusiasm in target state. So let's attack Iowa and Nevada to start this off. Because they're the first two these people are going to. They're all flying there. Plus New Hampshire at the top. I haven't forgotten yet. Um, that's the end of that. Let's move to the next week. Wow. 
week five. I was coming. So let's take a moment to have a look at what's happened so far. We've built our campaign headquarters, uh, see where we're sitting, Florida. Ron DeSantis, 13%, be even. Look at Iowa. Oh, Ron DeSantis, 14%. So he's leading the polls, getting some good enthusiasm. Let's go up to New Hampshire. Haley, 12%. They're running around better than I am. Michigan, I'm slightly one point up. Texas, got to get out to California and Nevada. Very tight. So I'm going to start moving. And I'll add I really can't forget South Carolina. So I think, and I should have built something in Texas then, but I didn't build a campaign headquarters in South Carolina. Because I'm running a bit low on stamina, I think it's a perfect opportunity to talk about inflational issues. We all have inflational issues at the moment. Um, love it or hate it, I'll be talking about that in my future podcast while I sip on a, on a nice sip of Jamison whiskey. If you like whiskey, Jamison's good value, I'll tell you that. Good value to drink, not to buy. $60 a bottle in Australia at the moment, it's ridiculous. But if you're listening any uh, executives of Jamison, I'll, uh, I'll promote any time you want. All right, so the end of week five, let's go through the next um, round yes it's approaching caucus is approaching as you can see iowa is first off the rank three weeks to go or three clicks of the button it's turned pink it's turned pink because the state is still a swing state if we look at the current polling ronda sanders 15 nikki haley 15 um dt's at the end with 11 and we got Mike Pence on 13. So they're all going to make a push for that. And I'd really, really like to win it first of all. So I'm going to head over there now. Try and boost. And as you can see, when I flew there, I was, before I flew there, I was an 11% and 24% respectively. After flying there, it gave me another point because you made an appearance. And there's a bit more enthusiasm. But to get a bit more enthusiasm, I'm going to have to make a speech. It's going to have to be about something that's important. So agriculture support, damn right, it's important. Got to make sure we've got that going. And let's get an ad campaign. So this is where you can run television ads, which unfortunately in, in this mode at the moment, you uh, you can't see them, but the talk is I'll probably put them in play so you can actually see them, which will be great. Similar to... Um, I think it's an app on iOS or Android, um, first to 270, that has, um, it's only small, but you can run an ad that says blah, 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 but it's cool, and that's what you want. A bit of realism. So let's run an ad. Favorable trade. I'm going to run a positive ad that Donald Trump supports favorable trade. Hopefully that does something in the polls. Let's have a look. Not a lot. I'm still in trouble. Three weeks to go and I'm three points down. I think I should maybe stay there. What do I do? What's Nevada looking like? I need to visit Nevada. Let's see if it gives me an extra point somewhere. Give me a bit more enthusiasm. Not much more. See these question marks up here? So they'll pop up randomly. Um, you can fly there. It's like a chance opportunity. Um, I will show you one in a moment, not this one, because I haven't had a good one yet. <laughs> so, uh, let's fly it to California, make an appearance, get a bit more uh, up there. Let's go to Oregon while I'm there, because I haven't been there. And that's the end of this turn. I'm really concerned about these early caucuses, so I'll go back to Nevada. You know, have another speech, environmental protection. Definitely going to get back to Iowa. I'm going to do another speech around favourable trade, agricultural supports. Let's do Trump's eligibility. Religion and politics. Give a speech on. Okay, what have we got left here? Maybe some political capital. Three political capital star. State. Maybe there. Okay, what can I do while I'm here? 
probably have to visit here again. For a while. Okay, the South Carolina. Don't forget Florida, because I need to be living in Florida. But that's the end of my turn. Um, yeah, we'll use a sub tweet. This is going to um, lose 3% enthusiasm, but I've got to pick someone to lose it. And I think I'm going to go for. I have to move up here. Nikki Haley's probably doing alright. Bit less enthusiasm. Miss Haley. Okay, let's move to the next round. Okay, what have we got going on here? One week. One week to go. Iowa caucuses. Mm. Where am I looking? Gee, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble there. I'm in trouble everywhere. Oh, okay, Carolina, Nevada. Alright, I think my best chance is here. Let's give it a shot. Give a speech. Let's go back to Iowa. Give a speech. to Nevada I feel do some fundraising thousand and that's it so Iowa will vote tomorrow um, or next week if you like um, Ron DeSantis is equal with Donald Trump I'm one point behind uh, I'm not overly confident I've never won it before but let's see what happens first caucus oh Donald Trump thank you very much I have taken Iowa. Now look at that. I've taken Iowa. The first caucus. I've got 40 delegates. And straight away, you'll notice that some of the target states move to red automatically. That's because the enthusiasm has lifted. And as they say in states politics, if you win Iowa, you normally get on a bit of a roll. But that is amazing. I've won Iowa. First time ever. And we've had Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Georgia, Florida was already there. And for a moment, Nevada was up there too. So that's amazing. It shows you the importance. And look, Nevada's next, so I'm just going to have to go there. I'm just going to have to give it everything I've got because I really want this. You'll hear it in my voice. I want it. I'm going to run an ad campaign. But before I do that, what's the Ron DeSantis? I probably have it. I might have it. Yeah, sorry, Ron. You oppose environment, environmental protection. Why don't you like the koalas, mate? All right, what do I do next? Four capital. I've got to get back into Texas a bit more. I probably have to at least visit some of these states. So I'll just fly around. And there's more enthusiasm. So even by just visiting a, visiting a state and not doing anything, it gives you something. Which is, which is really good. It gives you a shot. It's more realistic. Probably have forgotten about New Hampshire a bit though. Yeah, I'm in trouble there. Probably not going to win it. But let's see what happens in Nevada. Bang. Nevada. Thank you very much. That was well worth it. That's 66. And look at the flip. Look at the... Oh, fuck me. Well, there's an example of the start so that has just flipped i haven't seen this before that has just flipped multiple states after winning the first two caucuses that is insane and i'll be interesting to understand how the enthusiasm has jumped up it's all the enthusiasm i haven't visited these states the enthusiasm that is crazy they're not loving me here. New Hampshire. I don't think I can win New Hampshire. I think I'm too far behind. There's two weeks to go. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. No. We'll go to New York. We'll visit there. Let's go South Carolina. We've got to win now at South Carolina. If we can do that. We're in a really big opportunity. Oh, that's that switch. So look, I will show you this. Um, so you can see there's a question mark in Kentucky. I probably shouldn't because I, I just am blown away at the 
flip this early. But we'll go to Kentucky. Hey Trump, I'm watching your campaign from afar. Can't unwrap anything directly. Oh, you're joking. The first time I've been given, I need more energy. So here you get a choice. More energy. More political capital or more funds. That is awesome. I need more energy. Let's see what she says here. Three extra coffee cards, two stamina. All right, I'll say thank you, whatever that's going to give me. Um, because next is yeah, New Hampshire, I'm not going to win that. I'm not going to get back in that. I can't see it. Maybe I'm too scared, but South Carolina. Surely. Give it a run. Let's do a speech in. Let's do a speech. If possible, in um, South Carolina, hopefully we can uh, let's see what we've got. Population. Okay. Um, let's get back up to Michigan. I haven't been there for a while. And that's the end. But I do have some political capital. So, decrease the cost. I don't really buy anything. Seek the endorsement. Right, endorsements are great because if you can get, in this case, it's the Energy Independence Association. If you can get an endorsement, whether it be from um, Energy Independence, Women's Rights, um, the Youth Vote. I haven't seen um, the Gun Lobby yet. Maybe they won't have it, but you can get it. You get more votes, so let's bring that into play. So I've started a bid. And anywhere they've got a stronghold um, in those respective states will give you a stronghold also, which will be fantastic. So that's it. Let's move on. What's next? Um, okay. All right, we've reset 1.64 mil. I've still got a bit of cash. Yeah. It's not going to happen though. Let's, let's go visit some of these other states. New York. Let's talk about inflation. Let's go to Pennsylvania for a visit. Let's go to Virginia. Indiana, I'm there. So at the moment, I'm just using some points to visit just to get a bit more enthusiasm. Back out to California. Let's see if we can do some fundraising. What are the uh, Californians going to give me? Oh, nearly $800,000. That's the biggest by far. Great state to uh, to test your luck in. All right, let's go. They've all ended up in New Hampshire. They were smarter than me. Um, I'm not going to win it. So let's see what happens. Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. Congratulations, she's on the board. That has flipped the script. My goodness me. Amazing, amazing. Well, I definitely need to get some capital in South Carolina. There's no doubt about it. I'm not going to upgrade, but I'm going to talk about what's important to them. Let's address inflation. And let's talk about automation. Let's really get it going. Let's visit Georgia. Wow, it's just flipping everywhere now. And now I'm scared again. Visit some of these states, move around. What have we got here? Remove opponent card. Might remove the cards, the end of the run. I'm doing a ride in South Carolina. I'm doing a ride in Michigan. Not doing well out there. Let's go back to California. I really 
need to be doing something out here, I feel. Okay, they're not that bothered about anything out here, are they? For Oh, jeez. Sanctions on Russia, why not? Arizona. Just do something in Arizona, Second Amendment. I love it out there. Let's just visit Utah, Colorado, and Mexico. Oh, we're running into South Carolina. I haven't won that before. Domestic oil spill will now. Let's get back to South Carolina. I've got to win South Carolina, I feel. Let's talk about inflation because we know it's important. I want to think about New York. I forgot about it yesterday. It did not help. Inflation. Everyone cares about inflation. I haven't said that before. Inflation's. The worst things going on around the world at the moment. Okay. Let's take a breather for a moment. Um, apologies for jumping around and not going into every detail of the game, but I'm trying to get through it in a reasonable amount of time, give you the overview, but I'd really like to know the national polls. I'm interested to see what Zagby's saying. Renewable energy all other issues okay so we're not really focusing on any of those other issues um don't know how that's going to hurt us but yeah, nikki haley spent 5.31 million all right got any other political capital maybe he's in texas Okay, I'll go with Nikki Haley, which one was on there. It's the end of the term. Two weeks to the South Carolina caucuses. Still good in Florida. Still good in Georgia. Mississippi. There's an area here we need to win Texas. There's no doubt about that. Let's talk about the best oil. Try the question mark. What's this? I need to say he graduated from it, has asked you to deliver a short virtual speech. Let's come student bottle. Student bottle. Student body. No, I do support student loan forgiveness. Agreed. Oh good talk. Good talk, brother. Let's flip more states. Flips really quick. Really, really quick. How are we going in South Carolina? I think I've got South Carolina. I think I've got it. I think I have it. Comfortable there now. Not looking good up here, though. Nikki Haley is just demolishing it. Definitely have to go to Pennsylvania. That's the end of the turn. And South Carolina in one week. I'm not going to go to that question mark. Sorry to disappoint everybody. Yeah, I reckon I've got South Carolina. I reckon I've got it. I'm going to take Georgia. Appeal Obamacare. Up to Indiana. Second Amendment. Back down to Georgia. I don't have enough stamina. All right, South Carolina caucus. Let's see what happens. I should have this right. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Thank you, the good people of South Carolina. Oh, bang, baby. Bang. Red city, red city, red city. All right. So what's next? Michigan's next. Yeah, I want Michigan. I want to take it. I don't want anything to stop me. Let's address inflation. But I've got to keep my eye on my home state. I've got to keep an eye on Florida, California. I'm ahead, but it's no guarantee. Texas, back to California. It's just building the enthusiasm. And that's what's important. And you know, I'm right out here too. I haven't even visited Alaska. Let's go to Hawaii. 
I wonder if Hawaii will raise any funds for me. Eh, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Generates one political capital at the start of every turn from a target state. Alright, that's the end of that turn. If I can flip another couple, I've got, I've got a good chance here. Let's go over to Alaska. Let's visit some of these states out here. I haven't been to Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Dakota. Just building up enthusiasm here. We're trying to. Alright, one more week before Michigan. I think I've got Michigan happy. Five points, I'll take it. Texas worries me a bit. I've dropped in Texas. Ron DeSantis coming back. Let's talk about something important in Texas. Wait, protection. Oh, see, they change on a dime. Oh, Nikki Haley has just clobbered me in Florida. Apologise for leaving the Floridians by themselves for so long. Belting around, but I need to use some political capital. Let's use that one, that's all I can use. Alright, Michigan's up. What happens with Michigan? After they finish their flights, got it. Thank you very much indeed. That's going to help immensely. Another couple of states turn red. Florida though, she, Nikki Haley, is going hard at me in Florida. So I'm going to say Nikki Haley is against preparing for disasters. I'm going to give another. Trump eligibility, I love this one. Trump's eligibility as a presidential candidate has become the subject of question due to his role on January 6. Supporters of Trump's eligibility argue he should not be allowed to run and that there is not substantial enough reason to block his bid for president. You got that right. Let's see, let's, let's take a chance. 30 seconds, just going to let you know. Those headlines will be dominated by the birth of some endangered thing at some zoo at some place. Okay, that doesn't really say too much for us up there. Got three left, let's visit some of these states that. It's now pretty much what we run to here. We'll be running through to Super Tuesday. That's the end of the run there. Mm, Florida, Texas, more states have flipped back. So we've got three weeks and still until Super Tuesday. Whilst I have a good lead, it's starting to turn means I'm not focusing in enough on where I need to be focused. I'm out of it. So if we look at the top here, I'm in trouble. No chance in Vermont. No chance in Maine. No chance in the Northwest. Oh, sorry, Northeast. Massachusetts, New York. Try and have a shot at New York. Let's have a talk about just because it flicks red doesn't mean you've got it by any means of the imagination. It really doesn't. They're chasing me in all the states that I was relaxing in. Um, Alright, so now it all pops up and there's, look, there's three weeks in majority of states, Super Tuesday. Um... Now, if you can pull a big one out here, you, 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 you've got it, technically. Um, I'm just wondering if I've... 
misjudged. Speech in Alabama. D. Texas. Oklahoma. Really worried now. I've left some of these states untouched. Haven't focused in hard enough on them. Really concerned at the moment. Let's see what happens. Texas speech to Florida they are chasing my ass in Florida let's talk about repealing Obamacare for something different and then after this turn we're one week out from Super Tuesday Endorsement that helps, that helps, that helps sort of hurt me in Colorado. So, I think I've really got to take a look here. Um, just up in Florida, Georgia, oh, it's neck and neck with Nikki Haley here. I'm in trouble. We're going to use Byron, maybe on here. That must be the NRMA. I'm assuming. Let's do a speech here. Going back to Texas for our last row of the dice. All right, Super Tuesday. Let's see what you've got for me. Eight states. Donald Trump, four, Nikki Haley, three, Ron DeSantis, Mike Pence, zero. Sorry, Mikey, you're done. What does that do? Oh, well, there is three weeks to go. Most of the nation has decided the final race is down. This is the best scenario I've been in in my uh, seven games. No hope up here. No hope at all. Of any of that. We'll go back down to Florida. Go across to Arizona. Back up to Montana. And then we'll go down to Missouri and see what we can do there. Okay really comes down to what do we do next not much else we can do let's go back to florida roll on back up there a bit through to the next state firearm freedom coalition all right we will take it we will take it we will take it we're on the home stretch two weeks um as you can see now most states Sorry, three weeks to go. Um, I really hope they change that the way the timing comes up. I just don't like it. Can we have a look. Let's look at the Zagby polls. I haven't looked at that for a while. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming up just ahead, but still concerns me. Haven't been in this position. Georgia, let's uh, let's give some speeches here. Throw the dice. Put international polls on. Let's fundraise one last time. Oh, thank you. Let's use some of this. What's this? Oh, gain uh, gain a million funds from an unsavoury benefactor. Increase ads. Let's put that in. Okay. Last roll of the dice now for the nation. 
you're not going to get many other places. You're not going to get to see much else. Poland's pretty good. Florida. This is it. It all finishes today. Give it one last round of speeches. We'll visit over here. Let's end up in Florida for the night. Alright. I've done all I can do. It's heavily red. I must be with the bloody good shot now and then once I finish their turn now it's going to go through all the results we'll slow it down let's see the results we we want a red flip here people um, political aside it's a game all right but for this one give us a bloody red flip please uh, we'll see how accurate these polls are Nikki Haley's giving me a run here big run Got Florida, thank you. That's what I wanted. They're turning red, they're turning red, they're turning red. I know I've got Michigan. They're turning red, baby. We got a good shot here. I think, I think. I might have done it on turn eight to actually get, you know, um, say that yes, I did win it and now I can run for president, which won't be tonight, but yeah, we've got this. Bang. It's flipped and it's amazing because the other night or yesterday when I played, I think my third or fourth game, I try to get Iowa, Nevada, I always go for Michigan. Um, I didn't win Iowa, I did win Nevada, and it just didn't happen like this, there was no flip, no flip like this, so, but look, in realistic terms, Trump's a huge, very strong candidate, there's no doubt about it, it's who you pick, I'm running against the former Vice President, Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis, like, mix it up, and bang. Thank you very much, 46 million popular votes. 1,877 delegates. Donald Trump is your Republican nominee for president in 2024. Um, yeah, very cool. Very cool. We can view the map and you can see what's just happened. But look, that was cool. Um, thanks for joining us. We've come in just under the hour, I believe. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know whether it was fun or boring for you. Um, but look, it gives you an idea of what the game's looking like for the release. Um, obviously, as I said, it's a pre-release. It's not due out till May. There's going to be more work that goes into it. Um, I've heard there's going to be debates, and that's that's exciting if there's actually going to be real debate parts of it. Um, I'd like to play a lot more to understand the allocations, and surely if you win the first few caucuses, you don't win the nomination. That's just not... Maybe it is realistic in real life, but I don't think that's fair enough in a game. But um, look, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for joining in for my first uh, stream um, for 2024. And uh, yeah, hey, look, um, please join me again uh, for another chat. It won't be just for, for games, but uh, if you've liked it, look, like it, subscribe it, whatever. Um, like I said, I'm just starting out, so... Thanks for joining us for uh, reviewing the Political Machine 2024 and look forward to speaking to you soon. Cheers.